Allah Makim, first and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who've taught some 100% truth of the scriptures. And honors and citations to the elect document doing these works in season, out of season, week in, week out, sincerity and the truth. So, uh, what I want to get into in this lesson, you know, as pretty much the Passover has uh, ended now, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. And I want to get into the scripture, the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3, verse 2. O Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Yahweh Bashmashai, revive thy work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years, make known in wrath, remember mercy. Okay, so as. Feast of Unleavened Bread has ended and you know, thus con concludes the Passover. May Yahweh Bashem Shai, when his anger begins to unleash and he, when he begins to let loose upon this place in the form of Jacob's trouble, may he remember us, you know, his, his servants. May he have mercy upon us, Lord willing, if it be as well, our families. And, yeah, ultimately, just like the Passover, pass over us when his great mercy, I mean, when his great uh, anger unfolds upon this place. Okay, may, may, may he uh, have mercy upon us on the whole full leg. Let me get another scripture. Because why? In 1 Samuel 15, 22. And Samuel said, Have the Most High as great delight and burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying the voice of the Most High. Okay, Yahweh Shemal Shai. Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams. See, so it is better... So may Yahweh Bashem Hashai have mercy upon us when this thing does go down. Since we, um, since we obeyed, okay, we obeyed His word, and you know we made our bodies a living sacrifice. We gave sacrifices, oh, before we even knew what it meant. We've, we've lost sacrifices while we was in the world because we were destined to come into this truth. May it all be uh, taken into account during these evil times that the Lord is getting ready to bring and which it will be. Because this is Isaiah and this is going to be a quick lesson. You know, may Yahweh Bash Mashai have mercy upon us during uh, when this thing goes down. It's, it's very interesting, man. Very interesting start of the year. Right now, you got the banks, the bank failures. This is Isaiah. Yeah, and that could cause a chain reaction. Isaiah, anyway, Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, the Lord power, behold, my servant shall eat. So calm. Because part of the Lord's great wrath that he's going to bring upon this place is when he brings a famine. And you see Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, they think that they're uh, self doing a uh, self-sabotage by uh, blowing up these different production production um, areas. Right, like uh, where they uh, bring out, um, pretty much bring out all the chickens and and the cows. All these places are getting uh, blown up. 
these grain manufacturing places they all getting blown up man the derail the derailments messing up the water so he think he's doing it but really that's the spirit of the lord that's upon him to bring in this famine and the lord is working as well in the spirit he's drying up the different rivers lakes this is a part of the lord's great anger that he's preparing for this place Right, so in the midst of it, let me get Haobash Mashai, have mercy upon us, his servants, man. And the sincere, the sincere brethren and sisters that believe, which he will. Absolutely. Because this is his story. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Whew. You're going to learn, man. Not to play around with you. How about Shemal Shai? Why are you thinking in the, in the book of Habakkuk it said that he was that he was terrified, man, when he heard this word? It says, Behold, my servant shall drink, and Lord willing, if it be the Lord's will, but Bakashah, yeah, how about Shemal Shai? May we be able to drink not just water, but uh, some wine, some good old wine too. Some good old uh, LQ as well. Right, it says, but ye shall be thirsty. Whew, man. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So, oh, praise and glory to Yahweh Basham Hashad. We're going to rejoice. The Lord's going to uh, increase our spirit. Our faith is going to increase. Because we're going to know that the kingdom is, is pretty much here. And now, boom, we're getting those new bodies. We'll never be taken into captivity ever again, man. Oh my gosh, it's just gonna be like this is all gonna be over. It's all gonna be over, man. Verse 14 Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart, and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You know? So as the Passover is over this year. And we continually obey and remain sincere, humble, and try to uh, strive for this truth unto death. May Yahweh Shemashah have mercy upon us, brethren, if it be as well our own brother's families. Okay, when he gets to uh, letting his anger unleash upon this place. Okay, and although he's going to have mercy, it's already written that he's going to have mercy upon all right, his whole full elect. The little one's edifying with that, I'm going to say Shalom.